Subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and never miss an update from Latestly. There's it, it, always a bit of relief uh, when you, you know, when you get through the launch uh, cycle and, uh, and the spacecraft separates. You know, the spacecraft is really designed to operate, um, as I think Thomas was saying, in space. That's where it's happiest, you know. Uh, the, most, of the, most of the problems we run into are because we're in a test configuration that's, that's not really flight-like, interestingly enough. And so I think the team is obviously very relieved to um, be on our way. And, uh, and the spacecraft is generally uh, is as well. So, yeah. I'm not sure that people really can sometimes grasp just how difficult it is um, to fly. Um, and this is going to be, of course, our first ever demonstration of powered flight on another planet. Uh, but if you think uh, what's required to fly, to get lift from a wing, uh, you need air to do that, of course. And the atmosphere on Mars is about 1% of the density of Earth's atmosphere. And so without that air, getting lift and being able to actually fly um, is something that's extremely challenging. Um, but uh, the engineers out at JPL demonstrated that uh, they could actually get that lift and fly a helicopter in that very, very low density um, type of atmosphere. Um, and so we are really, really excited to do this um, and demonstrate that capability. I think uh, going forward for scientific purposes and also in preparation for human, land, uh, human exploration, uh, I think these types of aerial uh, robotic capabilities are really going to add to the type of science we can do. Um, we'll be able to use such, uh, such a helicopter to do things like do uh, some pre-surveillance, do some reconnaissance of various areas that we want to decide do we really want to drive over or go over and, and look over there. Send them into areas that perhaps are of such scientific specialty that we don't really want we really want to make sure we don't contaminate them in any way so we're going to send something over there to do a special experiment and bring it back so we don't have to take everything over